I went back to heal up my team before uh, this next part. We, we're going through yet another route to get to this next city to go get my stupid gym badge. So it's uh, clearly snowing outside and we've got a lot of uh, <clears throat> ice types abroad. So I'm going to... Okay, there's they're, they're crawling all over this place. So I got to make sure... Oh my god, now the Sneasel's chasing me around. Come on, man. Why you got to do this to me? Okay, so let's go in. I'm going to go in this patch of grass right here and uh, hopefully I can... Uh... Oh, look, there's an item. Let me grab this. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. Okay, what is our random Pokemon gonna be? A Deli Bird. Oh my God. Oh no. I I no. This is not a strong Pokemon, but I'll catch it. I will. <clears throat> Wait, what? I, I guess I've already uh <clears throat> battled a Deli Bird. That means. Oh, I think. Yeah, I do vaguely remember some random trainer actually having a Deli Bird. Oh my God. He almost died from that. That's what I mean. Deli Bird is weak. I just went for a double kick and it's just neutral damage. I almost took it out. Look what level that thing is. It's like... It's level 38. Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever. Let me just let me just throw the thing at it. Where is it? See, I like timer balls. Where did I get these timer balls from? I don't think the Pokemon market sells it because I was at it not too long ago. I don't remember timer balls. So I don't know why I've gotten 19 of those things. Stay in there. Stay in there. No way! How did this weak Pokemon just break free? It, it just healed me. This is what I mean. Like, you can't have a Deli Bird on your team, man. And be serious about it. Like, especially on a Nuzlocke. The last thing I need to be doing is healing my opponents. But, whatever. I'll throw another Pokeball at it. I will not leave until I do. I've got like 70 of these things. I got all day. Okay. Um, if this jelly bird actually wants to be this uh, pesky with me, maybe maybe I should just leave it out here to, to starve in the wild. I mean, it didn't even shake once. And it's literally... Look, look how low its HP is. Are you kidding me? Wow, I actually do have 70. I have 74 Ultra Balls. Why do I have so many? I can't prepare for this Nuzlocke, clearly. One... Two. Please. Okay, good. I don't know if it can break out after the third shake. I've never seen that one before. Whatever. So needless to say, I kind of just caught Deli Bird for an absolute emergency. Because I'm not going to use this thing. The delivery Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so that was the second one I ever battled in my life. It carries food all day long. There are tales about lost people who were saved by the food it had. Well, it's definitely very friendly, so... You shall be named friendly. Yes. Okay, so... Let's keep going through this route and pretend like I never had this uh, encounter. Because I'm... I'm not unhappy, I'm just not happy. I mean, Deli Bird... It doesn't even really matter. I've already got more than enough Pokemon. Dude, is that the city? It's already right there. This route was really short, but I went through some crazy... Why does the cop look like that? What? Police Officer Bobby. Arcanine. Okay. Actually, I feel like that might have actually been the <clears throat> the trainer that had a, a Deli Bird the first time. Or somebody near him had a Deli Bird. Because this isn't the first time I've ever seen one of these police officers. Because I vividly say... I vividly remember saying, like, why does he look like that? That thing has extreme speed. Okay, well, I'm, I'm doing no damage to this thing. Well, you know what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The snow. Or, I mean, the hail. You guys know that in Generation uh, 9, <laughs> there's snow now? Hail is no longer a thing. It's like a completely different weather thing. So, it's sort of like hail, but... Uh, I mean, it looks like hail, but it doesn't do what hail does. And even, even us fire types are getting absolutely berated by hail right now. Yeah, well, I've got leftover, so I'm not getting completely destroyed like Arcanine over here. That would have been a cool Pokemon to have, Intimidate. See, one annoying thing is apparently, um, somebody commented that Corviknight can have Intimidate. Well, mine doesn't. Mine has Unnerved. Like, that's so useless. And another annoying thing is every time it goes into battle, it has to be, like, Unnerved. It makes the opponent... Scared to use berries. Like, if I'm going to read some dumb stuff, it should be, like, some actually practical stuff. A Bolton? Oh, that's right. Hop had one of these when we battled. Um, 
I guess it's just an electric type. I thought it would be part normal, but it's not weak to fighting. All right, what is he going to go for? Nuzzle? Oh, I'm, I'm going to get paralyzed. No. Well, the good news is we've got, um, what's it called? We've got the next city right around the corner so I can heal up all this stuff. If I knew it was just going to be this Pokemon trainer here, I wouldn't have even ran back to the previous Pokemon Center before this video, but whatever. Wait, why'd I go for double kick? Please, please take this thing out. It's not going to take it out, is it? Oh, no, it did. Nice. Poor dog. That's okay. There'll be more where that came from. Like, why is he so happy? Like, that... I don't like that. I, I would rather the police officer look scary than look like that. He just looks like a kid. You're supposed to be a bad, mean, angry person all the time. Okay, this is a nice looking town. Now, I'm going to go on the record and say that I don't actually know what this gym leader is going to be. I See right there, there, look at that icon. I thought this would be an ice type gym leader, right? No, it's. I think it's going to be a rock type. That's a picture of a rock right there. Well, I mean, I guess since we got here so extremely fast, I might as well just actually uh, go to the gym leader right now and just... Uh, you know, take care of business. Why not? It's uh, most likely... Well, mm, how does my team do against rock types? Pretty sure that's going to be a rock type gym leader. Um. Okay, neutral. I'm weak. Neutral. Neutral. Resist. However, Sandy is kind of new around here, so I don't know how she's going to do. That's okay. Um, you know, I'm not even going to talk to people around here. I'll just do that off screen because then we'll be here forever. There is a funny looking restaurant here. You know, okay, I'll, I'll go on this one just because it caught my attention. Whoa, whoa, that's a scent to scorch. Okay, um, actually, you know, it doesn't look like anything's important in here. Yep, so just so you know, I will travel throughout this city uh, after I battle this gym off screen. I just saw an item here. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. A can of lemonade. 70 HP. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure people around here have TMs and knowledge and items, but, uh, you know, this video will take forever. So let's just get to it. What type of gym is this? Sir Chester Stadium. We have no idea. It has to be rock. What the heck is that thing? Oh, is that the new Darumaka? The thing that involves in a Darmantan? Was that Gen 7 or Gen 8? I don't know. Somebody comment down below. It look, yep, it's Hop. We are on the right uh, path right now. Arg, I lost. Whoa, really? I've never seen Hop lose a gym battle before. I, the only time I ever see him lose is either against me or B Day that one time. Here, take it. It's the rock. It is a rock type. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. His name's Gordy. Yeah, I do remember faintly in the beginning of the game, there were seven gym leaders that showed up in the intro. I do remember some other individual that I'm trying to faintly connect the dots with. This guy gave me a moon ball. What the heck does that do? That evolve use That's so obscure. Dude, if you use a moon ball, you're literally just using it for aesthetics at that point. Okay, well, before I start this challenge right here, live, let me just, um... Let's read something about this this opponent that I'm up against. Okay, yeah, I do remember this guy faintly. Gordy is a young rising star that many suspect will be the champion someday. Though rock type Pokemon are typically known for being rough and unrelenting, Gordy has worked hard to achieve victory through a refined and graceful battle style. He always tries to keep his fans happy and thus is very popular among the audience. On the other hand, he has a surprising tendency of shutting himself away in the locker room when he is defeated, making post-defeat interviews a rarity. This doesn't bother most of his fans, though, and they see this behavior as endearing. Endearing, huh? What does that mean? Is that, is that like, passionate or something? Endearing, okay. That's an interesting way of putting it. Some people might see that as, uh, as being weak or something. Wait, did, did I just see Tap Detector? I don't actually ever read this dialogue right here, but I swear I saw Tap Detector, and I have no idea what that is. So, uh, oh yeah, that's right. And the gyms in this game, they have uh, missions. But Okay, what's the mission here? It looks like there's literally just a trainer right there. 
All right. Wait, what? Yeah, they did give me something. This is probably the detector. Would you like to hear the details? Um, it is. Oh, it's the trap detector. Gotcha. The reason you'll need is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere. Oh, that's kind of annoying. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Well, luckily I am using a controller right now. I'm sure this would work with, uh, wait, what? Can you hear me? Try to feel your way. Wait, who is talking to me right now? Okay, well, there's, I'm guessing there's a pitfall right here. So I, I guess I don't go that way, right? Okay, um... This is looking pretty easy. Yeah, okay. I almost walked right into that. I thought that the vibration meant good. Alright, we've got Gym Trainer Abigail. Baldor. This will be a good way of gauging how strong Mochi is going to be with my double kicks and whatnot. Um, man, I should have brought Deli Bird. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Deli Bird's literally four times weak. Imagine that, me bringing that thing. Weak armor? You just knocked yourself out. You just lowered your defense. Now you're not going to be able to survive this. You fool. What kind of strategy was that? Well, I guess they weren't counting on me having double kick of all things. Maybe Brick Break. Wait, actually... Nah, nah. I was thinking of maybe... Wait, okay. Well, just because I'm curious. Can... Can Mochi actually learn... Brick Break. I just want to see. It looks like it could. Uh, hello, Brick Break. Where are you? There it is. 75. Oh, wait, no. None of my Pokemon can. Oh, that's kind of depressing. I was uh, probably... Yeah, that would have been a good idea to put Brick Break on instead of Double Kick. Whoa, whoa, okay. A lot of pitiful... Whoa! And I... Oh, man. I'm a failure. Oh, what? Oh, that's easy. It just, it stays there. I thought it would, like, the sand would come back or something. Well, if it just stays there, this is super easy. You don't even need the detector thing. Huh. Okay, cool. That's it. That's the ticket. Take a deep breath. Focus. There's two trainers up ahead. Yeah, I don't even need to really worry about it. I can literally just walk around like a savage and then... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. It's freaking out. Look at that. Boom. Got through that like nothing. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Because, yeah, you don't even need the detector. The game's just being too nice at this point. Crustal. Oh, wait. This thing was actually kind of uh, beefy in the last episode. I, I, I did not one-shot this thing. Not even close. And then I missed two pyro balls on it. Wait, what the heck? The wild Crustle that I saw was level 40. How come this thing's level 38? I don't understand that. Stealth Rocks. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> really? Stealth Rock? This guy, or this girl, has a competitive uh, crustle. I was not prepared for all this. Yep, it's going to eat that up like nothing. Whoa, rock slide. How much is that going to do? That did a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie. Did more than I anticipated. That's okay, though. Uh, yeah, come to think about it. Mochi in this gym battle... Um... I can probably start the battle with him just to, you know, see what he's got. But definitely going to need a heal pulse. What does this do? Restores the target's HP by up to half. Wait, can you use it on yourself? I don't know. I'm not even going to risk it right now. We'll see later. Oh, that's right. Frank knows Surf. So Frank might actually do pretty good in this battle. Rock types are, in fact, weak to water, in case you are, are brand new to Pokemon. Um, and, I, yep, okay, I, I deserve that. Where do I start? Oh, literally right here. Can I go this way? Yeah, I can. That Wow. Huh. That's so simple and easy. Yeah, well, I, I guess that's... I don't really care too much. When I play a Pokemon game, I don't expect it to be super stupidly hard, you know? Uh, I do like the gym missions. They kind of give more flavor and variety to this game. Double kick. Oh, yeah, it's part rock. Duh. It's a rock fire type. Oh, no, it's going to live. I'm going to take a hit from it. What's it going to do? Ste Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Well, I mean, if they're using this, then the, the gym leader definitely has stealth rocks for sure. 
I mean, that's just a given. Yikes, that's going to be annoying too, because I'm probably going to be switching quite a bit. So, brace yourselves, people. I don't Dynamax. That wasn't even part of the challenge. I'm just not Dynamaxing, because I don't need to. Yeah, let that be known. I up, All the way up to this point, I've never Dynamaxed my Pokemon, because I don't care. Okay, can, can I simply walk forward and... Oh, probably not, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it broke both of them. Okay, so yeah. I figured it would make me walk all the way around. Uh, yep, I'm going to have to walk all the way around, it seems. That's fine. Wait, what? Oh, okay. When th when I said all the way around, I, I didn't know how right I was. They literally want me to walk all the way around. And there it is. Is there another one that I'm going to have to go through? I, I just battled three gym trainers, so... I think all the way up to this point, it's always been three every single time. Oh, wait, no. There is another one. So it's, there's most likely another gym trainer that I'm going to have to battle. Okay, yeah. Now this one's kind of difficult. Is what I would say, but... Uh, uh, it's just slightly more inconvenient, I suppose. Yep, okay. Can't go that way. Trial and error. We learn through reinforced learning, people. Uh, somebody just said feeling nervous yet. No, not really. Is there a trainer here? There's no trainers here. Okay, no, there's definitely a trainer here. I, oh, it's right here. Gotcha. Let's battle. Gym trainer Wendy, alright. Pseudo Wudo. Okay. I really hope there's not a sandstorm up right now. Okay, good. That would be kind of annoying. Well, what what rock types have I seen so far? I've seen Pseudo Wudo. I've seen Cart Coal. I saw Bulldore. Rock Slide. In Mist. Nice one, Pseudo Wudo. You should be a professional Pokemon battler. Who was the fourth rock type? Oh, Crustle. So I'm just going to imagine that this is probably what the, the gym trainer, not the gym trainer, the gym leader's Pokemon is going to look like. I mean, that's kind of... Mm, has that been the theme? I guess. He just has, like... They generally have an evolved version of these Pokemon. So I wouldn't be surprised if that guy had a G Gigalith, Gigalith, whatever it's called. The evolved version of Bulldor. Am I about to fall in the sand? Yep. Oh, there's two right there. Okay, well, I'll just go, uh... Is this thing... Yeah, it doesn't even vibrate anymore after the pitfall has been discovered. Fail failure opens your eyes to things you couldn't see before. That's actually pretty legit. I have failed many times in my life, and honestly, I'm not gonna stop. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't let yourself slip up now, not this close to the end. Oh, I made it. Oh, no, yep, they tricked me. Very well. I've gotta walk around now. Alright, now I made it for real this time. Alright, so this gym had, uh, it actually had four, uh, gym trainers. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up these steps. It's gonna say gym mission cleared. I don't know why I'm still holding these things. You did wonderfully, just wonderfully. Now, gym challenger, join me on the pitch. <clears throat> Wait, what? Has the gym leader been talking to us this whole entire time? I think so. He said, join me on the pitch, so that's kind of weird. He's just been um, eyeballing me this whole time. Wait, wait, wait. Before I even do this, um, this guy might actually be kind of difficult because, uh, <clears throat> I mean, Mochi's not going to do too good. And I've got like uh, a Pokemon that's straight up. I got two Pokemon weak to rock, and then I've got three that are neutral and only one that resists. And the one that resists is not exactly very uh, capable at the moment. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll just, um... Yep, yeah, our team is fine the way it is. I'll just go in there starting with Mochi and see how this goes. Hopefully, nobody dies. There's the gym leader. Interesting shoes he has. Hey there. The name's Gordy. I admit, I feel bad... A little bad for doing this to a gym challenge, but I'm going to use this match to show the crowd... That my Pokemon are unbeatable. So let's get this over with, Challenger. 
Oh, okay, that was pretty bland. Usually all the other gym leaders have some kind of, uh, you know, something. Gordy. I didn't even realize he's got those glasses on. He's got an Ultra Ball, too. He's, he must have some powerful Pokemon. He's got four Pokemon. Barbarical. How did he just throw that Pokeball right there? And he's taking up a, a very uh, cool stance right now. You know, I just noticed that that's literally a water and rock type. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm still going to be weak to rock regardless. So double kick is uh, still my option. I, I don't care if he hits me with a rock or water. Yeah, that's going to be a two-hit KO. Look at Gordy standing there. Okay, please don't do something crazy like Shell Smash. He, he just used Shell Smash. Um... That's actually really, really, really scary. Um, okay, well, now he's definitely going to outspeed me, but do you think he can one-shot me? Nah, I'm too bulky. Razor Shell, let me eat that up. I'm dead. I just lost Mochi. <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? Mochi will be remembered. So now we've got this monster on the loose right now. Um. Wow, I can't believe that thing actually just one-shot me. Um. Rock, rock, rock. Okay, how about Frank? I can't believe I just lost Mochi, my starter Pokemon, just like that. It was my strongest one, too. Okay. Hey, the music was kind of weird right there, but now it's all normal. That's okay. There's okay this time for real. There's no way that thing one shots me right. Razor shell. I'm about to eat that up like nothing. That did a lot of damage. It just lowered my defense. Please, please, Frank, take it out with a Zen headbutt. Its defense is low. All right, good. Jeez, man. Oh my God. I have clearly have not woken up this morning. Shuckle. Are you kidding me right now? I've had enough of you messing around with me. I'm going to go into pan. I'm going to use a million home claws and then absolutely destroy this guy for what he's done. Oh my god, man. Alright, where is it? There's the Shuckle. Okay, I know Shuckle can't do anything, right? This is like literally one of the most defensive Pokemon in this game. I can't believe I lost Mochi. That's disgusting. I just realized I literally have a steel move on this thing. Oh my god. I should have just started with this thing. Rock Tomb? Oh, that's going to do nothing. Yum. I don't care if I'm super slow. This means nothing to me. Home Claws up. Yes. There's probably no way I can miss Steel Wing at this point, right? Rock Tomb. Yum. That's doing nothing. It doesn't even really... Uh, yeah, yeah, this should be more than enough to 2-hit KO this guy. Oh, the one hit KO! That works too, excellent. I was uh, not ready for all this. Okay, cool. Hmm, that's so leveled up. Ston Jorner. Isn't that that giant weird rock thing? This thing actually has a lot of defense too. Um... You know what, just because I just know I can get away with it, I'm going to go for another... Stealth Rocks, are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude, what, what's with the gym leaders in this game? <laughs> they don't mess around. They took out Mochi, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, you, there's no way you live this. This is plus three Wonder Room, what does that do? That's not Trick Room. Defense and Special Defense are switched. Wait, what? Why'd you do that? That was stupid. You had all this defense. You might have been able to live that. But now you had negative two defense and I had a plus three attack. Colossal. What the heck is that thing? Oh, you know what that is? That's probably that one. Oh, man. I do faintly remember this. It's that fire type thing evolved. I can't stay in with this. He'll use a fire type move in one shot, man. Um... Who is up for the job? Who can stay? I think Frank. Yeah, Frank. I'm going to go into Frank right now. Frank is the answer. I've got an Eevee Light. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a Hyper Potion right now. God, this is so unfortunate that I, we actually lost 
Mochi to this guy right here. I don't even like his style. Yep, and there it is, Colossal. Okay, um, pointed stones dug into fr Oh, that's right, that's disgusting. That's okay. I've got a million hyper potions. Where are they? Yep, I've got 37. I'm not messing around. So I'm just going to stall out this guy's Dynamax, and Frank's going to eat it up like nothing. You know why? Because Frank has an Eviolite, so Frank doesn't care. Like a giant mountain boulder. Hiya, Gigantamax. Very clever there, Gordy. I guess Ultra Balls kind of fit his uh, color scheme. Does this thing look scary when it's a... Uh... Oh no, it just looks like a normal Colossal, just uh, just huge and humongous and very imposing. That must have been very painful to try and record all these Pokemon Cries in their Dynamax version. Max Flare- oh, that's gonna do nothing- wait a sec, I'm not a water type. Dude, I ate that up. Good job, Frank. Wait, well, what's happening? The sunlight- oh! Okay, that's- that's not good. Um, so this next one's actually gonna do more damage, I believe, so- <laughs> But I should be able to live, so no big deal. This is what Frank is here for. To stall out these Gigantamaxes. Size means strength. Savor this pain. No, I don't want to. G-Max Vol- What the heck was that? Volkai Lift? What? Dude, that did less damage. You should've just went for the fire move. Your ally Pokemon became surrounded by rocks. What? What is happening? What are- there's so many weird things. I've never heard of any of this stuff before. Alright, well, whatever. I don't care. Frank's still chilling. I am not afraid of that thing. As a matter of fact, that thing's most likely still rock and fire, so... Okay, this, this guy actually going to do a lot of damage. Unless it's a crit, I'll live. No problem. Yep, look at that. Boom. Oh, God, I'm still getting hit by stuff. Jeez! Okay. Well, at least I'm okay now. So now... Wait, is it still sunny? I can't even tell. Let me go for yet another Hyper Potion, you know, just to be safe. Dude, Frank, I didn't even think about this, but Frank might actually be more important than Mochi was. And Frank's just here to have fun. Wait, what? Heat Crash, what does that do? She oh my god! Okay, how long is Wonder Room wore off? Dude, how long am I going to have to deal with this nonsense with these, uh... That sun. That thing's a big problem. Okay, did that even matter, my spadef and defense? I think it did, actually. Yeah, so, okay. Heat crash, just by looking at it, that's probably a physical move. So, dude, I almost went for slack off right there. I'm crazy. Okay, well, let me get back up to 136. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can easily stall this thing out, unless it crits me. Heat crash... So this should do less, because now my stats are normal. Yep, that did nothing. And the sunlight's gone. Oh, Gordy, Gordy, Gordy. Looks... Wait, what the heck? Does this stuff just never go away? That's actually really disgusting. Oh my god. Okay, well... Now it's really gonna do nothing. Now you have no sun. Heat crash, I don't care. Let's see how much that does. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, and I didn't get hit by rocks anymore. It's gone. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm tired of you. Now I'm going to go for Surf. This is quad effective. Uh, please don't crit me. That'd be very nice. Excellent. Alright, let's see how much Surf does from Frank. This isn't Stab, though. You would think Slowpoke's a water type. Oh my god. Uh, I guess that's... Wait, what? Its speed rose drastically. Oh boy. Well... That's okay. Be you want to know why? Because Frank is literally... Do you know what Pokemon this is? This is literally a slow poke. It it's like literally one of the slowest Pokemon in the whole game. I don't care about you being faster. As a matter of fact, actually he could crit me and it, it still wouldn't matter. A crit is not enough to take me out from where I'm at. A crit... Yeah, that would only do like 75. Yeah, okay. Have another Surf, buddy. Heat Crash. Oh, I guess he's just going to keep doing this all day. Uh, I guess that's his hardest hitting move. Go, Surf. Man, I still can't believe I lost Mochi. All the all the good times we went through. Like I when Mochi fainted, I didn't even believe it. I thought it was just a figment of my imagination. That that Pokemon was one of my fastest Pokemon too. I think it was my fastest. I now that I think about it, I think all my Pokemon are actually kind of slow. 
Okay, yeah, Gordy, this, this is it for you. This is for uh, Mochi. I'm tired of you. Yeah, I, I hope you do crit me, just to prove that uh, I don't care. Yum. I ate that up like nothing. Goodbye. Get out of my face. I'm tired of it. Now I gotta go to the cemetery later because of you. Unbelievable. Okay, well, that's really depressing. Mo Mochi was level 52, and he got one shot by that stupid level 40 Barbarical. Man, when I was at zero health, I for a second there thought he crit me. Nope, he just did that much damage, so... Foolish me. I should not I should have not underestimated that, that Pokemon's attack set. That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take this rock badge. What do you mean, rules are rules? What, you weren't happy about me beating you? You just defeated Mochi. You should be the one honored here. You know how impossible that is? You can now catch Pokemon up to level 50. Good. We're going to need a replacement very soon. A very competent one. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Man, forget you. Disgusting. Rock Tomb. Disgusting. This is the worst gym so far. I'm going to leave a bad review on Google Reviews with this place. Rock Uniform. I'm never touching that thing ever again. I changed my mind. For the rest of this playthrough, water types aren't the worst. It's rock types. Which is funny because Dreadnought's literally water and rock. Oh, look, it's Sonia. I don't know if I want to talk right now. I'm not in the best of moods. I got to go send my my thing to, the, you know. The name of your restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. What kind of restaurant name is that? That's probably the one place I was at earlier this episode. Okay, well, yeah, that's enough pain and agony for now. I, I can't believe Mochi's dead. God, that place was disgusting. Why isn't this an ice type gym? Whatever, I've had enough. Well, thanks for watching through that excruciatingly sad episode. Um, please like the video and help out the algorithm or, or something like that. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.